I know you've obviously you know been contributing and had big plays in the season, but I mean three touchdowns, all of them over sixty yards. Can you kind of just walk us through the performance today and how you think you did? I mean, it, it all started with practice uh, this week. Um, we just we just been grinding, grinding every day, um, just trying to trying to make explosive plays whenever we can, and and then that was the results today. Um, Payne Payne found me uh, on the field for him, you know. And I, I made it easy on him, you know. He told me that. Um, so it's always nice to make it easy on the quarterback, easy pitch and catch, you know. But you got to finish finish the plays off, and that's what I did today. You walked us through the one on the, I think it was third down, where you threw one over your shoulder on the right sideline and then uh, cut back. Uh, I mean, that was, that was a beautiful ball by Peyton first off, man. Um, and then, you know, I just tried to make sure I was still in bounds, you know. I, I, I didn't know if I was in or out, so I just – I made sure I was in, looked to the left, and I seen green grass, so I just took it. What about when, when uh, Kenneth is running down the sideline for that touchdown and he reaches out for a little high five from you guys? Do you ever remember that happening in the middle of a flight? Uh, I mean, I, I remember it happening, but, I mean, it's not something we we uh, correlated or anything like that. Or it, it just happened. It was just in the moment. Back to that one that, that you got back across the field, uh, did you feel like, the defenders kind of thought you were out there. I mean, it seemed like they kind of froze in that moment. The, the guys, two guys were right front. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but you know, I, I just, I just made it happen. Um, ca caught them off guard a little bit by stopping like that. So I guess, I guess that that helped out. Okay, did you peek up at the video board to see a guy coming on the on your blind side? Uh, no, nah, no. Nah, I saw, I saw him at the uh, oh. periphery of my left the whole time. You know, um, I seen him the whole way. Jalen, was there an emphasis? Do you think? to get you the ball. I mean, I don't think you can plan 60-plus yard touchdowns, but this week, was that a focus for you guys in practice to specifically feed you, or did that just sort of occur naturally today? Uh, I would say it just occurred naturally. Uh, occurred naturally, my fault. Um, but it, it, it just happens, you know. Players are called. Um, if one reads not there, he's going to look another way. You know, he found me multiple times today, so. You guys surprised? I think you got, you hit the, you scored on the flea flicker, right? Yes, sir. Two of them, two of them, actually. Okay. Are you surprised that they keep working? <laughs> uh, no, I'm not surprised. You know, you know, we we be uh, run blocking as, as best as we can, so that 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 helps with with those plays. You know, um, just just trying to get a hat on a guy whenever we run the ball set, sets up those type of plays, and the guys can't get um, on their toes about that. So you say about this offense that you guys have playmakers like yourself one week, Jaden another week, kind of a lot of weeks, being mm -hmm. throws for three thirty right. whatever. Can you just speak to this offense and the, all the playmakers you seem to have on it? I mean, we, we, we still got multiple playmakers that y'all haven't seen yet. Um, we got we got a lot of young guys that are emerging, um, just just getting getting more in tune with the uh, playbook and the offense. So um, we we just been working hard, just trying to get everybody on the same page, and I think we're doing a great job so far with that. You, you've been around this program for a while now. When you hear your name mentioned with Charles Rogers, Flexco Burris, and Andre Rising among the top four receiving performances, what does that mean? Uh, I'm, I'm honored and blessed, man. You know, those, those are some of the top guys that come through here, and I'm, I'm just blessed to be a part of that part of that conversation with them. And early on, you guys obviously the passing game was going. It seemed like they were bottling up the run. I mean, that that seems like that softened some things up for, for Kenneth in the second half. Mm -hmm. uh, de definitely, yeah. They 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 probably uh was trying to focus a little bit more on the pass in the second half, so that that's, that's freed up Kenneth. So uh, credit to the O line, man. They, they were they were they were uh, chopping all game as long as the wide as, as well as the wide outs. What about the timing timing of you guys on offense? I mean, I think your first three touchdowns came like the very next drive, I believe, after they scored their field goal touchdown. Mm -hmm. Either way, there was a penalty or turnover. They scored. There were they, a lot of your guys' scores were quick responses. Right. Um, did you notice that in the moment? And just what does that speak to? I guess. In your uh, I mean, I, I didn't notice it in the moment, but. Uh, uh, I think it's a good way to take away their momentum that they that they created uh, from scoring or making big plays like that. So I think that's a that that was just big, just to to kill their momentum and get our momentum going. Before before today, there's a dude named Larry Fitzgerald that's the most receiving yards in this building. Mm -hmm. Talked about some of those other names earlier. Yeah. What does it feel like to eclipse a mark that that guy <laughs> held before today? Oh uh, man, I, I didn't even know that. But uh, again, I'm honored and blessed, man. You know. Um, just be able to do do this sport, um, just to do do what I love, man. And um, got the guys behind me, um, got the whole team behind me, just pushing me every day, uh, as well as the coaches, you know. So um, they they see the best out of me, and you know uh, these things happen. What did you notice from Peyton? I think especially in that first half, I know you did, to me 
immediately so it looked like it maybe hit at sort of a level we haven't seen from him this year in terms of where he was placing these balls to you guys. Uh, what do you think about him as a whole and that first half specifically? Uh, he, he played amazing that first half. Um, he, he, played, he played great the whole game, actually, you know. Um, some things didn't go our way, so that's, that's what happened. But um, he, he played amazing in the first half, um, hit, hitting all his, his right reads, um, making the right checks in, in the run game and all that. So credit, credit to Peyton, man. When everybody's involved in the uh, offense, I mean, how much buy-in did they create among the players, especially in the coach's game plan, knowing that, you know, one week might be the guy to, to step up and deliver? Uh, I'll say, I'll say it goes on a big thing on trust, you know. That's, that's one of our uh, pillars we have in our program, trust, you know. Uh, and that, that comes with communicating, uh, strain, and discipline, all these things. So the, the trust is being built built up. I know you guys care about the win and that's what you're going for. But is there kind of a personal satisfaction for you to sort of show that you could have this type of big game when your teammates, like uh, other guys have mentioned, kind of Jaden have had these big games. Were you kind of eager to have one yourself, you know? Uh. No, not really. I, I'm, I'm, we just focus on, on winning the games, man, you know. Um, when winning comes with success, and, you know, everybody's going to have these type of games. Everybody's going to have a game. So uh, I'm just blessed that it, it came today. You, you, you talk about trust, but uh, how, how much trust do you have in Jay to kind of call the right play at the right time? Uh, I, I got I got all the trust in uh, Coach Johnson. You know, uh, he trusts me. Uh, he always tells me, "Hey, you got to lead us today. Lead us." Hey, uh, he tells me every day before practice, even in, before the games. You know, uh, it, it's just the trust he has in me uh, to to go out and make plays. All right, thank you. Thanks, thank you.